Hey everybody, welcome back to my Nightmare 100 Baby Challenge. Uh, for those of you who may be new, my name's Nikki, how are you doing? Uh, we're back with the Blooms today and I'm so, so excited about recording today's episode because the Sim Sessions are here, which is the in-game festival and I just can't wait to experience that with you guys and send Ainsley and probably Cliffy and maybe some of our other babies along to enjoy that experience. So, oh, I'm so keen because anyone who knows me in real life knows how much I love live music and concerts and just music in general. That's where majority of my money goes outside of Sims related purchases. So I'm so keen. I can't go to concerts, so at least where Sims can. But anyway, just before we get to start in today's episode, I just wanted to give you guys a massive shout out. Thank you so much for all the love and support on the last video. It's made me feel a little bit more comfortable at face cam. I'm still a little bit nervy, but I'm not quite as bad this time as I was like this time last week when I was recording. So all the love. Thank you guys mean the world to me. Wow. So it is a little bit naughty of me, but I have had to cheat the game back to Saturday because the sim sessions are live on Sundays uh, in Willow Creek. So I'm hoping that we do get our ticket and get the invite and all that and it doesn't bugger up the game too much. This is actually my third time trying to play this because what I did originally was um, I ended up trying to go ahead and skip ahead to the Sunday. But in that time, so much stuff happened and it like completely bugged out my game. All the babies got taken away. It was a nightmare. So I've had to start this recording again. So I'm hoping this is going to be the way it works. Oh my god, okay, stop making a mess, please. No, 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 if you're upset, go to bed. We don't make messes when we're upset, please. All right, one of the first things we want to really do this episode is going to be aging up some of these toddlers because there is four of them and I am very overwhelmed, especially with these two babies who are probably going to, like, obviously age up this episode as well. So we really want to get rid of them. Uh, also, I did give uh, Mr. Cliff... No, Hiroto, go away. I did get Cliff a little makeover, by the way, too. So we'll have a look properly at him when we age up some babies and cast. But he's looking very handsome, very cute. So I hope you like what I've done with him. I didn't keep the blue hair, unfortunately. But I don't know. I feel like the blonde looked better on him anyway. And these babies are crying again. Ainsley, can we deal with this, please? All right, Bluebell's reached thinking level three, so that means the only thing she has left now, I believe, is a bit of potty, and she's ready to age up. So let's go get her on a potty grind, I think, so we can get her done ASAP. Oh, look, some of our beans have come over to visit. So who we got? Ash has come over. Okay, only Ash. I thought that was more than one, but, you know, Ash is, you know, we, we've got one over. Oh, and Clover's here too. There we go. Doing some push-ups, getting her fitness on. Oh my god, Seiji came too. Oh, bless. That is so sweet. All right, we really need to try and get some more uh, babies born as well. Ainsley hasn't got very long left, I don't think, anymore. How long have you got left, darling? She's got 10 days. So that's not going to... She's going to age up, obviously, tonight as well, like an extra day. So we really need to get a move on if we intend on having babies with Martha and the IGGY uh, before she... Her time is over. What a rush. This is a boost of adrenaline is making Cliff feel amazing. Should he like fitness? Sure, you can like fitness. Bow, 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 bow. There we go. I was going to say, where, excuse me, where is my music? <laughs> Ooh, who is this? I did some research to find your number. This is Cliff, right? I wanted to get to know you so we could meet. So could we meet, sorry. Um, I've clearly, one of my mods is a bit glitched because... Uh, this is looking a bit strange, but mm, somebody has the hots for Cliffy. I think let's get him to go and we'll just suss out this this rando and see what she wants. Random invite. Oh, looks like my camera's having a bit of a crisis. Sorry in advance for that, by the way. Um, I'm obviously still getting all new to this stuff, so I'm sorry if my camera goes in and out a little bit. All right. So who we got here? Who is this? Who is the girl who invited us? What's your name? Sammy Miller. And she's an adult. Oh, I thought you were a teenager. This guy's a teen though, Lawson. And he's the one that's automatically started talking to Cliffy. So that's adorable. I love that. Let's get to know him a little bit. I don't know. Whatever's wrong with this guy, he's feeling a bit depressed and Cliffy's over here trying to make him feel better. Oh my God. No wonder this guy is so sad that we were talking to. Look at all these bloody urns they've just got lined up at the front of their house like this. 
That is creepy. Maybe there was like a fire or like just everybody dropped dead all of a sudden. No wonder he's feeling a bit sad, Cliffy. I don't know why they invited us over into this sadness. Oh, Cliffy's trying to be a good friend to him. That's so cute. Considering we don't even know this guy and he's trying to sort of cheer him up and be a good friend to him. It's... Oh, and he didn't like it. Okay, well, that's just nice. This guy is just not liking Cliff very much at all right now. So I think we're just going to go home, which is sad because I honestly thought that that may have been like a romantic invite over, you know, like for somebody who had a crush on him. Maybe he's like older sister or like his parent or something was like you know we've been through a lot in the family maybe you should you know invite over that boy you like you know last short and see if he feels the same way or something but he's just too sad like he's he's really just too sad so I don't know maybe maybe that's something we can explore we'll see what happens you know once he's over the death of like the four or five family members <laughs> all right how's everyone has everyone been looking after themselves no they have not that's just fantastic Go eat that salad, love. I've just noticed that cheating the day back to Saturday didn't actually work either because we're now back on Wednesday again. So that's just awesome. I don't know how we're going to get to the sim sessions. I'm, I'm not very impressed with that. Can you change that dirty diaper, please? Yes, our girl is potty level three. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that means that we can age her up in a moment. We'll just get that cake out and ready. And all we need is Mr. Sir over here. Oi, what are you doing? Come do some potty, please. And Ainsley, would you mind aging up Miss Bluebell, please? Happy birthday, little miss! Ah, I'm so excited to see what she looks like growing up. Cliff, shouldn't you be, like, asleep or something, dude? you got to go to school, like, in, like, ten minutes. And look at your needs right now. My God, seriously. Okay, let's see what her first trait is. Evil, are you serious? Oh my god, okay, fine, if that's what you want, game. Pick a number one through four. The answer is three. The answer is three. Oh, she's an evil, rambunctious scamp. An evil, rambunctious scamp. Okay. And how about you go get some food? And Ainsley, come and deal with this child over here. All right, do me proud at school, Cliffy. I know you're not feeling too good, but that's your own fault, okay? You're old enough to look after yourself. We'll make over Bluebell as well once we have Little Rain as well all aged up. How about you go watch Diamonds Off of Sims? There you go. Enjoy. Oh, awesome. We've just got a pop-up. The Sims Sessions exclusive music festival has come to town for a limited time, featuring BB Rexa performing an acoustic rendition of Sabotage. So we've got, uh, head over to Magnolia Blossom Park and Willow Creek to attend every Sunday at 12. But it's literally Wednesday in game. Does that mean I'm going to have to do a double episode this week? I know you guys aren't really going to care about that. You'd be very happy with that. But, uh, like, we have to go to this festival. We have to go. So even if that means I have to double record this week, um, it's going to happen. We're going to that festival, okay? I have to live vicariously through my Sims, and this is the only way I know how to do it. So... Where is Ainsley at right now? She's over here on her phone. What are you doing, Queen? Can you not? Go home. You've got kids that need you. What the hell? Why did she just sneak off? Oh, and she's just going to walk home. Okay, whatever. Whatever. All right. Now, you can get some sleep, sir. So how did your skills go? Have you got it up? No, we almost... Got movement and potty left, so we'll get that done momentarily, hopefully soon. I love that the toddler has a ticket to sim sessions. That's so funny. We're not taking we're not taking a toddler to a music festival. Are you kidding? What a terrible idea. Okay, Cliff is back home. He's got a B today, and it looks like he swiped something from school. <laughs> I love kleptos. I really do. They're so great. All right, awesome. Rain has reached movement level three, so that means we can age him up. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get this cake on the counter. Hi, Ainsley. I'm calling to let you know that Basil Bloom has died. <gasps> Basil, so our first baby just died. I can't believe our first baby is dead. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Literally, Ainsley outlived her first baby. 
That makes no sense at all. Oh my god. Now everyone's going to be so depressed when we go to the festival. All right. Well, at least we're aging up Mr. Sir today. Maybe that will make everyone a little bit happier dealing with one less toddler in the house. So happy birthday, King. Little Mr. Rain. Little Bubby. All right. So his trait is going to be squeamish. All right. Okay, game. Whatever you say. Pick a number one through four. It's three. It's three. Another rambunctious scamp. This game loves giving us rambunctious scamps. I think it just likes hearing me say it at this point. <laughs> All right. I know you're hungry. Don't you dare eat some of that cake, though. Quickly, add, add, add candles before he attacks it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No, no, no. You little sh I am so pissed off right now. Oh, my God. And you're not even going to eat it. You literally picked it up and then put it down on the counter. What an ungrateful child. Okay, so this is Mr. Rain before makeover. He's aged up with some quite dark, uh, like, skin details. And remember, he is the baby of Lilith and Ainsley. So he should be fairly pale. I think the same things happened to Bluebell. Yeah, because um, neither of these babies should be this dark in skin tone. So let's see how we go. Okay, guys. So this is Little Rain in his little blue and aqua kind of colors. And for his sleepwear, because he aged up in the onesie, I thought we'd keep the onesie vibes for his sleepwear, but keep that blue because I think blue is going to be his color. So I really hope you like him. I don't I feel like he looks a lot more like Ainsley than Lilith. Uh, however, little Miss Bluebell, I think has got a bit more Lilith in her. So she's going to have the blue vibes too, because her name literally has blue in it. And, uh, a little evil bean. She does not look evil at all. Hey, she looks like that girl in the playground that everyone, you know, is a little bit unsure of. And she turns out to be evil. You know, like she looks innocent, but she's actually a devil in disguise. And for her sleepwear, just something really cute and sassy. I feel like Daria would very much be her vibe. Like she looks kind of like Daria without the glasses. So I loved it. So I hope you guys like them both. I think they're so cute. So, but I mean biased so you have to let me know your honest opinion in the comments below um I've also while we're in here given Cliffy a little festival outfit and I I gave him the little uh glasses that don't actually have lenses and stuff he looks so hipster and this is what like in Australia we'd be like the boys would all be wearing to festivals thinking they look so cool <laughs> so I was like I channeled that vibe I gave him it entirely like I love it <laughs> And I knew for Ainsley straight away I wanted to give her this outfit from the Paranormal Pack because she rocks it. And I gave her this little red like headband thing and I don't know, she's such a vibe. I wish I could be wearing that right now, but it is freezing in Australia at the moment. So this is where I wish I was wearing and the vibe I wish I was doing and I wish I was going to a festival. So basically she's living my best life for me. One thing I really wanted to quickly do while we were in cast as well is rename this little bean. So you guys left me some amazing suggestions uh, in the video last week. So thank you so much for that. I'm feeling like the one that I liked the most was Cole, which was a name suggestion. Now, Cole um, is one that I've had on my list since the beginning of this challenge, like spelt C-O-A-L. Uh, and because they got the Christmassy vibes from like, you know, Cole in your stocking if you're being naughty. So I really liked that. So we're going to go with Cole. And I feel like Cole... Look, you know, it, it looks like a name that would suit him, but there were some really creative ones that came through. So thank you so much for that. And it's given me some ideas for future babies as well. So super, super appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this cake straight in the trash now. And Ainsley, let's get some sleep, my love. Oh, no, Rain is like passed out. I kind of saw that coming, though. His needs were looking pretty bad. But this house is doing well at the moment. I can hear someone crying in their sleep. And then we've got... Mr. Sir here, Mr. Rain passed out on the floor and then Cliff is just like sighing into whatever he's eating. So yeah, we're, we're doing good as a family right now, you guys. It's, we're doing so well. Oh, this bean over here is very, very smelly by the looks of it. Don't sleep in the bush. Seriously. There is a perfectly good bed. All right, someone's in that bed. Here, sleep there. Oh my god, there are so many children crying in this house right now. The babies are going, the other kids are crying in their sleep. One of the toddlers is crying a second ago. 
Oh my god. And if Basil's just died, that means Dill's going to die soon, right? Because they were twins. So this is not good. This is going to start the chain of death, I think. I think the only one not crying is Ainsley, who is in a surprisingly good mood considering. Maybe she's, in, like, happy. Maybe she's like, this is such an achievement. I outlived one of my own kids. Like, maybe she's getting some kind of a power trip off it. Oh, my God. Ainsley's gone into one of the cubicles to cry. Maybe she is feeling it a little bit, but she doesn't want the kids to know, you know? She's hiding her emotions yet again. All right, all the kitties are off to school. Bluebell? Yes, good. You're going now. Good, 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 good. You'll be proud, all right? Everybody study hard. I don't think any of them did their homework last night either because they're all busy crying in their sleep. So that's just neat. All right. Uh, Rain is satisfactory. Okay. Bluebell's a B. And Cliffy's a B. Okay. That's not as bad as I was expecting, all things considered. All right. His fun is absolutely lacking something insane. So how about you come and watch some TV? Oh, Lily came around. Hello, my love. I feel like I want you to come to the festival too because you just give me festival like energy. I don't know what it is about you, babes. I was thinking what we might do is start a club and then just like make it the festival club and then we can all just go together. That might be a fun idea. Blossom also gives me festival vibes. I don't know what it is about her, but she's going to come too. All right, so we've got Blossom, Robin, Lily. Uh, but we don't have... We still can't add uh, teens to the club either, which is very annoying. I don't get it. I really don't get it, you guys. I have no idea what's causing that. But I figure by the time uh, Wednesday or whatever it was rolls around. So sorry, Wednesday. What am I saying? Uh, by the time Sunday rolls around, uh, Cliffy will probably be aged up anyway if all goes to plan. So we can just take like a whole bunch of adults to the festival. Also, I've decided with uh, this aspiration we've given to Ainsley, I'm just going to mark off, have a child, get married because we know what's happened. Like... Clover is married to Fufi, for example. Like, we know that that's happened. So she's... See how this one automatically marked off? They have four grandchildren. Why didn't they do that with the married one? So she needs to socialize with your child and her grandchildren ten times. Cool. Well, that's pretty easy. We'll definitely be able to do that. She's literally talking to Lily right now. Oh my God, Cliff is wearing his festival outfit to school. Oh, that's so funny. I hope these babies age up soon. I feel like they've been crying nonstop for like two or three days in the game now. Aspiration achieved! Ainsley's completed the big happy family aspiration. Woo! Most interesting sim in the world. Have a sim with 12 or more traits. That is so cool. I've literally never done that before. Oh, that's so sick. So she's managed to knock off that aspiration too. That was actually insanely easy. I guess the challenge makes that really easy so let's get her new aspiration going as well that's so so cool I'm thinking let's maybe give her the knitting aspiration because we do need to get those onesies done even if she doesn't get them done until she's an elder or whatever I just want them okay it's like become an obsession at this point to get these bloody onesies so let's give her the knitting one I think next so that's so cool though we've managed to smash through two aspirations with our queen while doing this challenge like while taking care of all these babies like that's insane that is so good I never expected that we're actually doing so good oh my god Cliff stole something again today what is that two or three days in a row now that's amazing grades are up okay rain is a B student <gasps> Cliff is an A student amazing oh my god and the toddlers of the toddlers oh my god the babies have just turned into toddlers what is going on everything's happening all at once Bluebell is a B still from what I can see. It's like nothing happened for like ages there and now everything's happening. Okay. Manifesting time, everybody. Please not fussy. Please not clean. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. This manifesting thing works. I promise it works. This is so good. <laughs> yes. All right. Rosemary is independent. And what about Ocean? Manifest, manifest, manifest. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, 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 yes! <laughs> this is so good. This is what, like, I honestly have no words. You just love to see it. This is the best thing that could have possibly happened. I'm so happy. <laughs> god, no, I've got, f I just realized that means I've got four toddlers. 
We need, really need to get we really need to get Mr. Sir here aged up and out so we can get pregnant again. But I also feel like we need the help with all these toddlers, but I don't know. We'll get Ainsley to make a cake because we have no cakes because a certain someone ha ate our last cake. So we're going to have to make another one. Oh my God. Who just did that? That was you, wasn't it, Bluebell? You evil little... Oh my God. I'm just going to replace it. I can't be bothered right now. Can you leave her alone, please? I need you to bake a cake. Oh, look! Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's such a good brother, though. I want to keep him in the household a bit longer, but that means that Ainsley's going to run out of days quickly. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but if he's going to be like this and look after the toddlers, like I feel like we should just keep him around, to be honest. Okay, let's go, Mr. Cliffy. Let's blow out the candles, my love. Happy birthday, King. Final trait time. Let's see. So he's already a dog lover and a klepto. He is now also a recycle disciple. Okay. Okay, game. Okay. Cool. I made the executive decision that we really do need to get him moved out because we, we don't really have time to spare. Ainsley's only got like... Nine days maybe left. Eight. I think less than that now. How many days has she got? Hold on. Seven days. <laughs> We've really got to get a move on. We've got to get our skates going. So he's going to have to leave. So what we'll do is we will quickly give him a job. What kind of job do we reckon for him? Okay. So my problem is, is that we gave Lily a job in the athletics career last time. Uh, like last episode, I mean. And this little boo has got athletic skill and he also likes fitness so like that kind of would have been perfect for him so if he's not going to do that like athlete what's something you can do lifeguard maybe I reckon I, I reckon I could see him as a lifeguard I think let's let's give him that all right now let's quickly jump into creative sim and have a look at our toddlers I'm actually so so excited to see we to see what they look like it's probably one of my favorite parts of this challenge is to see all the different genetics. Okay, so this is ocean, you guys. Um, I'm going to take all this stuff off you so we can actually get a better look, please. Okay, so he is brunette. Who was he the child of again? Darren. It was Darren and Ainsley's child, wasn't it, from last episode? So he's got the brunette and he looks like he's got kind of like the curls kind of coming through from uh, Darren. So that's interesting. And then we've also got... Rosemary, who has got some weird, very, very weird makeup or skin details or something on at the moment. I don't, there we go, it was makeup. All right, but she's also got the brown curly hair. So I feel like let's try and keep that for them. And it looks like they've got Ainsley's skin tone too. So let's see how we go. All right, everyone, this is little Ocean. Look at him. He is a precious little bean. I love him. I love him. I love him. I hope you guys do too. I thought the little overalls look so adorable on him. Oh, he, he is melting my heart. And uh, for his sleepwear, I've just given him something very simple and cute. So adorable. I love him. And this is little Miss Rosemary. She looks so cute. I went for the full on curls with her. So I hope you love her as much as I do. I think she's so adorable. And the little foxes. And I even found for her sleep where like a matching fox onesie. So she gets to keep that like fox vibe like right through. So yeah, I hope you guys love them. Okay, this is kind of devastating because he looks so good in this photo. But look in his eyes. He's got little tears. <sighs> it's like so depressing, but we need to get him moved out. So I can't wait for him to get over his sadness unfortunately so we're just gonna have to make do I think what we'll do is we'll move Cliffy in with um his siblings so I think Oak Everest and River live here with some random I don't know maybe she's dating one of them I don't really know the story there but we'll get him in with them because you know I feel like he's very I don't know I just get the vibe that he won't do too good on by himself if I would just kick him out cold like that so we'll just pop him in with them Good luck, my love. All right, so we'll get Ainsley to invite around. IGGY, I where is he? Where is IGGY? Is that IGGY over there? Yes. IGGY, come here. 
Okay, Cole just reached thinking level three. That's so good. Okay, good, 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 good. So, can we get him in the mood, please? Let's give him a little beguile. Oh my god, no! Oh no! Poor Blossom! Oh my god, they got her! Remember, she was trying to do the Strangerville mystery. That was her aspiration. And it looks like they got her instead. Oh my god, my poor baby. My poor baby. Oh no. I am terrified. Thank you very much though. Get your weirdness away from the house. Don't scare the kids. And we've got... We really need to get this one in the mood. And I don't think your weirdness is going to be helping. Uh, can you stop focusing on your toddlers for once, Ainsley? Please, come on. Snap out of it. Here we go. Try for baby with Iggy. Try for baby with the IGGY, please. Will be the most iconic child to ever live. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They both like that idea. I think she's a bit more keen than he is, but it's fine. Just get the job done, please. Look at these two little beans just potty training themselves. We love independent toddlers, you good little beans. You just age up and just go straight to the potty. It's like you know. I love it so much. Now you, what do you need? Have you done your homework yet? No, you haven't. Brain seems to be enjoying this song. Should he embrace it? He likes new disco music. You know what? Okay. Excuse me, where's my music? New, 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 new. All right, Ainsley, can we get you to take a pregnancy test, please, darling? Yay! Baby IGGY is on the way. <laughs> that is so good. That is so, so, so good. I'm so happy. Anyway, you guys, I think I'm going to leave this part right here. Um, I know we didn't get to the festival, but my plan is to do a double episode. So I'm probably going to record back to back with this one. Um, and we're going to get to the festival in the next episode and hopefully have a new birth. So I'm sorry if this one's a little bit short, but I'll try and get both episodes out as soon as I can. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, uh, all of those things. If you did enjoy the episode and make sure you let me know in the comments below what you think of our new babies and what we should be naming the last few babies of Ainsley's reign as matriarch so thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll catch you very soon dag dag